So there are some basic principles that uh, young children need to develop and, and become fluent within their mathematics and uh, some of them relate to the counting principles. So in first steps they refer to uh, five counting principles. I'll give you one example. One would be to know the number names in order one after the other. So they would know the counting sequence of one, two, three, four. Because some children can count but they might count and, and do a one-to-one -one correspondence but they might say four, seven, six, eight. So they're doing things correctly but they haven't got the number sequence correct. This game here is just designed to tie in with some of the, the work from the on-entry assessment where you'll notice that there are questions that ask about the number that comes after in a sequence of numbers, the number that comes between in a sequence of numbers and the number that comes before. So if you look here the spin has been designed so that when it, the child spins it, uh, let's say they land on this one here, it's got one blank three, they would have to work out that the missing number there is two, so they would move ahead two on the track. Now while they're moving ahead two on the track, I'd also be looking at how they count those two. Another example would be here, uh, in this case here, it's six, seven, and they have to know that the next number is eight, and then they would move forward eight on the track. They need to realise that the count forward starts on the next dinosaur footprint. Now. If I was working with a parent perhaps or an educational assistant, I'd make sure that they focused on two or three main points here. One is, some children will find questions like six, seven, eight to be relatively easy. They will find where the missing number is in the middle, for example, three, and then they're not sure, four, five, that will be slightly harder. And the hardest one for many children to handle is, for example, like this one here, where it's got something eight, nine. And the reason for that is they have to think about the whole sequence, they have to hold that sequence in their head and then they have to go back to the start of the sequence. So it's starting to uh, sort of play with their working memory a little bit which can hold them back in mathematics. So that's the purpose of this game and I'd want to keep some assessment data on which of those three aspects they can handle or if they can do them all.